Good morning, everybody. I wanted to recap on yesterday. I wanted to bring you the word of God. So, good morning, Super K. Guten Morgen. Buenos dias. How are you, everybody? So, yesterday we learned you cannot know God without Jesus, and you can't know Jesus without God. So, recapping, we're going to go back to Matthew eleven twenty-seven, 27, where it says, And all things are delivered unto me. Of my father and no man knows the son but the father neither knoweth any man the father save the son and he to whomsoever the son will reveal him a reading today is from the gospel of John verse chapter 7 verses 14 through 18 and now about the mist of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knows this man letters that he's never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that set him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Like yesterday, you can't know God without Jesus, and you cannot know Jesus without the Father. Jesus didn't come here to seek his own glory. Jesus was, he came as a man, but he was still God. Fully man, fully God. Also, um, if you will do the, he says, if any man will do his will, he knows of the doctrine so when you know when you do the will of God you're doing the doctrine of God you're doing what Jesus came here and preached Jesus came here to preach the kingdom of God so Jesus never spoke of himself he, he spoke the doctrine of God if any man would do his will he shall know of the doctrine whether it be of god or whether i speak of myself he that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory jesus never came here to seek his glory but he he sought the glory of his father which is our heavenly father the same is true and no unrighteousness is in him so there was no unrighteousness in jesus and there's no unrighteousness in god um, so if you want to go back and reflect, I would suggest to read uh, St. John um, chapter 7. Go from the first verse up to 24 and um, break it down. I wanted to go through the whole chapter, but it's, it's a lot to um, digest. And I just wanted you to see how Jesus and the Father complement each other. The Holy Spirit's there too. The Holy Spirit's what teaches us. I'll have to do that in the lessons to come. I just don't want to give you too much where um, it, it confuses you um, bit by bit, um, a little bit by little bit. Um, so, uh, it was John 7 14. 18 today recap from yesterday was Matthew eleven twenty seven. I pray you have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow God bless you Bye.